Hi guys, today I thought I would do an uh, updated skincare routine. I think I did my last one about six months ago or something. And today I thought I would do one bare face. No makeup, not a stitch. I have some lip balm on, that's pretty much it. Recently I found a routine that I've been really enjoying and my skin I think is pretty clear. I wanted to do this with no makeup on just to kind of I guess show you guys it's okay not to wear makeup. I thought I would just talk you through my products that I use right now, I'm a few little tips, but if you wanna see more tips specifically for acne, you can check out my acne tips video. My most recent one I think is the most kind of condensed, useful version of that video that I've done in the last five years. You can also watch my acne story video if you wanna hear my history. That was filmed about a year ago, but this is mostly about the products that I use and things like that. But I thought that I would give you just a little bit of background before I get into the products so that you know if this might be be something that will work for you. My skin has been horrible since fifth grade. I've been breaking out terribly and most of my middle school and high school years I had severe severe cystic acne. I did still have cystic acne my first couple years of college. It was just not as severe I want to say. I think I just kind of grew out of my like puberty stage and went into my adult acne stage. My zits were more hormonal related and then finally I ended up going to the dermatologist right after I think I graduated sometime around there. My skin had been very good for around six months. You can watch my skincare routine back then before I had gone to the dermatologist. I still had a few pimples I wanted to get rid of. So what my skin was at the point where I went to the dermatologist was barely any cystic breakouts, maybe one, one or two a month, which was great for me. And then it was mostly little tiny breakouts, little whiteheads. And I went to the dermatologist, I got went on prescription for my face and it worked. And I was on that for about a year. My skin was doing great. You know, I'd still get breakouts here and there, but compared to what I had growing up, I felt like a dream. And then about a year or two into, a year and a half maybe, into taking that stuff for my skin that was working really well, it started to have a side effect and that was severe dryness. And honestly, I I suffered a dryness back in middle school when I was using benzoyl peroxide. I think I had tried like proactive or something and it was horrible. If you have any chance of dry skin, any sensitive skin, do not use benzoyl peroxide. I would not recommend it at all. If you want to use an uh, acne product, use salicylic acid or use something by your dermatologist, tell them that benzoyl peroxide is too drying for you. Acne, I find that I notice it when I look in the mirror, I notice it when other people look at me, but dryness you feel constantly. And this dryness was painful. It was like, oh my god, it was just horrible. It was. I would want to cry myself to sleep, it was so painful. So I had to go off of that and go on to something a bit more sensitive and it didn't work. I had tried, I spent about eight months I think trying a couple of different topical creams and they just weren't working. And then my skin had gone to the point where it wasn't dry anymore but I was getting a lot of whiteheads and that's kind of what my problem has been more recently. A lot of little tiny whiteheads all over. They are easy to get rid of but they come right back and that's what I was dealing with. And so I talked to my dermatologist, she gave me something and it just didn't work. It did absolutely nothing. So recently, I actually put me on a vitamin. It's a gigantic vitamin called Nicozel Forte. It's pretty much a prescription strength vitamin. I'll leave the name of it below. You can Google it. It has like five or six different types of vitamins in it at a very high potency. And I find that it's been helping. It's not an overnight uh, Accutane kind of thing that has a lot of like dry side effects. This has no side effects. It does have folic acid in it, which is something I was taking. I've talked about it before. That's something I was taking to help my skin, to help with like period problems and stuff. And that is in here, so I stopped taking that because there's so much of it in here. But the pill is quite large. It's a green pill. My brother also takes it for his skin. It's not that big. I was prescribed to take it twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. But once I felt like it was working, and I kind of forgot to take it in the morning. I take a lot of other pills at night, so I just take it at night now. And I think that it definitely helps. It isn't cheap for this because insurance, my insurance anyway, doesn't really cover it. So it's quite expensive, but you could always look into it yourself and ask your dermatologist about it. But I would recommend it. A vitamin is definitely, I think, a safer option than going for like a prescription like Accutane. I do think that Accutane is a lot helpful, more helpful if you have like cystic severe breakouts. I think it's really helpful if you're in high school or college, more stressed out breakouts. I think that that kind of thing really does help. My brother definitely finds that it helps him. But if you are going to go for Accutane, just beware of the dryness, lip dryness, face dryness, all skin dryness, get a super great moisturizer. But I've been using this routine now for about a month and a half and my skin has been loving it. Some products are the same as I've talked about in the past, so I won't harp too much on those. But the newer things I'm definitely going to delve into a bit more. But before I get into my products that I put on my face and stuff I did want to just say definitely check out my acne tips video because those things no matter what products I'm using if they're not working that great or they are those tips drastically make a difference obviously 
products like this are very individual to people those things i think will help anyone I'll talk about a few things real quick about that before i get into the products and that would just be drink a lot of water and i know that people tell you that but around 30 to 45 ounces a day has been really 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 helping me it makes my skin not feel super dry because i do have acne prone skin and dryness water i feel like can help with anything that you have wrong with your skin and i think that water makes a huge difference another difference for me anyway it might not for you i know that people you know eat fast food and stuff and have clear skin but for me i've noticed that eating a lot more plant-based foods has helped me i do eat a lot of pasta and things like that too rice and everything but i find that steering clear of animal products has helped me tremendously i eat dairy but not constantly unless i'm like dying for macaroni and cheese or something like that so i don't completely restrict myself because i just don't think that's fair to yourself and if you know you like food don't cut yourself off because you're just going to drive you crazy i use a vegan soy free spread because i do have some kind of a sensitivity to soy so that's definitely something you might want to look into i think it's pretty common and it can cause breakouts and i eat a lot of fruit and vegetables i think that that helps so 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 much i feel like whenever i'm hungry or bored and i want to eat something i'm trying to have like baby carrots or strawberries or something like that rather than going for Cheez-Its. You know, if I'm craving Cheez-Its like for three days straight, I'm just gonna do it because why restrict myself? But I just kind of cut down on stuff. I do still eat meat, but I don't eat it every day. I eat very, very small amounts of it when I do. And I find that that really helps a lot. And then moving on to products. So I'm gonna go from my night routine to my morning routine. My night routine would start off with removing my makeup if I'm wearing makeup that day. So I use the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. So I use to remove my makeup. I'm obviously running out. I am thinking about trying something different, but this has been my holy grail. It removes almost all my makeup except for waterproof mascara, which obviously if you don't wear, shouldn't be a problem. It has like no real strong scent doesn't irritate my eyes and so many things do when i switch to a cleansing oil instead of a wipe or anything like that oh gosh it made such a difference if you have oily skin or dry skin a cleansing oil will change your life since i've been using a cleansing oil my skin is not nearly as oily as it used to be you know this it really helps to balance your skin whether you're oily or dry next is my current cleanser i'm not sure if i've talked about this before which is the cerave renewing sa cleanser for normal skin i wouldn't say this is necessarily for normal skin i think it's good for acne prone skin especially if you don't have like severe acne because it doesn't have an intense amount of salicylic acid but it does have a bit so that it's really helping to exfoliate your skin but also condition it i find this doesn't make me feel super tight afterward and i really like it a lot it's just a simple cleanser nothing crazy about it it's like a jelly consistency and what i've been doing recently i just pulled this back into my routine like a month ago is my clarisonic i didn't recommend the clarisonic for a lot of reasons for a while i I want to exfoliate my skin, but I don't want to irritate it. And I feel like a Clarisonic irritate it. I feel like you have to buy a new head. It's like 25 bucks every month. It's crazy. And you know, they get gross and disgusting. So what I've been doing is only using this around three to five times a week, depending on how my skin feels. If it feels really smooth, I'll skip it. If it feels like it needs just a little bit of extra grittiness, I will use this. And these two together work really, really nicely. I use it at night or in the morning, depending on when I feel like I need it. I feel like my pores are my nose and my T-zone area, which is kind of like something I hate about my skin look better when i use this could get a cheaper alternative i know olay makes something a little bit cheaper at the drugstore i'm sure any kind of a brush cleanser will do the same trick i'm sure you don't need like an actual clarisonic but if you have one and you haven't been using it just maybe head back into it and just makes your skin feel really smooth and makes the makeup apply a lot better then after cleansing morning and night i use a toner i did use a bunch of toners i've talked about in the past and i do like most of the ones i've tried before but this is the best one i've ever tried hands down i already bought a backup and i'm like only halfway done this is the thayer's witch hazel that lavender toner i got this off amazon for like seven bucks this bottle is huge it makes me feel really good that it's clear it makes me feel like there's nothing bad in it there's only a few ingredients and they're all pretty natural i'm pretty sure this is like an all natural formula but i got the one with lavender because i felt like lavender is very good for sensitive skin it helps to calm i know some people say it does the opposite for me i've always done very well at lavender i just love the smell oh the smell of this is amazing it's so natural. It's like literally smells like lavender essential oil, but not like in your face crazy. It smells great, feels great, doesn't over dry my skin, doesn't over moisturize. It's very balancing. If you want the most straightforward toner, try this. I know a lot of people skip that step. For me, I've always used a toner, so it's just like feels weird not to use it. I feel like it takes off any cleanser you didn't rinse off well enough. I don't know. I love it. And then I use this morning and night. I really, really love this. So for the last three or four years, I've been using this after I use my toner at night, and that is Salic by Palm. I've been using this for, like I said, three years or so. I've raved and raved and raved about it. I've done videos dedicated to it. You can check those out below. It's around $20, $25 on Amazon. It's a green tea moisturizer that has salicylic acid in it. So you could use this if you have oily skin as your moisturizer. For me, it's not enough. 
Um, I use it more as like a treatment. I put it all over my face, kind of like a serum before moisturizer at night. But lately, I feel like my skin's just been getting used to it. It's kind of like if you use the same shampoo and conditioner for a year, your hair starts to get a feeling. I feel like and you have to change it up once in a while. So that's what I'm in the process of doing right now. I think it's really more helpful with cystic breakouts. It helps to prevent your bad skin. I honestly say that my skin, when it first started getting clear, before I went to the dermatologist, it was thanks to this product. I would really, really, really recommend it. But right now, what I've been using, because I thought I just needed a change of scenery with my skin, is from Glossier, which I've talked about in videos recently. I love their makeup products. I love their skincare, everything. I have a code for 20% off below. If you want to check it out, this isn't sponsored or anything. Glossier is super pure. This is amazing. It's a little like squeezy serum. And they have three different things for like that look like this on the, in their line. And this one is for acne. This one doesn't have salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. It has niacinamide and zinc. You just take the little squeezy dripper thing and put one drop on your forehead, one on each cheek, and then sometimes I'll do like my nose or my chin. You just dab it in until it absorbs. It doesn't feel like anything on your skin. You just dab it in and you follow it up with your moisturizer and it's it's just amazing. I absolutely love it. I think it would be a really good option if you have more small pimples. Like I don't know that it's going to treat huge gigantic cystic breakouts, but if you get small breakouts from like eating too much chocolate or not taking your makeup off one night or something like that, I think this is a great, great, great option. I don't know if this is the best option for like a teenager. I'd feel like you're better off like salicylic acid because of the type that pimples teenagers tend to get. But if you're in your 20s and you don't have like severe all over acne, but you want help with the pimples you do get, like what I've been having lately, like more whiteheads, little red spots, nothing huge in cystic. I love this. I'm really, really, really loving it. I talked about it in Get Ready With Me recently, and it's made a huge difference for my skin. Next morning and night, I use my moisturizer. This is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. I do use a PM one since I wear SPF when I go out anyway. This is the PM one I use at morning and night because it's the same as the AM one, only the AM has SPF in it. It's a nice little pump. It's a really simple, basic, my dermatologist recommended CeraVe to me. Um, she said you could use Cetaphil or CeraVe. Cetaphil, I find, is better if you have more oily skin if you're younger, but I think CeraVe is a great option if you have breakouts and sensitive skin but you're older and you're worried about moisture and wrinkles and things easy to get a hold of it's quite lightweight they do have a heavier cream i'm thinking about getting for night but right now i'm really liking this morning and night it doesn't leave your skin feeling super oily or greasy i know some moisturizers i recommended in the past are very thick and i really like it, it lasts for a while you only need about one pump for your whole face and it absorbs really quickly, it doesn't feel like anything gross, it's great for under makeup, it's great for at night. I just really recommend that. Then just to mention real quick, it has nothing to do with acne or anything, but my eye cream, just CeraVe eye repair cream, nothing crazy. I don't know that I'd repurchase this, I don't think it makes a huge difference. It just moisturizes mostly. It's just kind of in the middle of the road, doesn't irritate me, so that's great. It absorbs really quick, so it doesn't irritate makeup, it doesn't feel like super slimy or anything. I do really like it, but it's not like, like, a, like a holy grail. On to the rest of this stuff is kind of what I use when I need it. It's like as needed, it's definitely not an everyday thing. First thing, all of this I don't feel like I mentioned before. This is the Origins Modern Friction, love this. It's very expensive. You can try a mini one if you wanted to or get like a sample, but if you need severe exfoliation, this is a great product. Burns if it gets in your eyes, so don't let it get in your eyes, but it's, a, it's an amazing product. It smells very natural. It's just a great exfoliant if you like those kind of old bead ones that are really horrible for the environment that are like illegal now. I don't know that it's great if you have really bad acne. It can be over, kind of can like over exfoliate if you have severe cystic acne, like I said with the Clarisonic. I feel like exfoliating your skin when it's really inflamed kind of just irritates it more. But if you have smaller pimples or just rough texture, it's a really great option when my skin is feeling dull. That's when I use this and it really helps to just brighten things up. And I have three different masks. One is for when I'm feeling super, super oily. My T-zone feels like really clogged. When I feel like I'm breaking out like a period kind of time, I eat too much chocolate. This mask is great. It's from L'Oreal, it's for $10. It's the light blue one. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's the light blue one, lightish greenish gray color. Smells phenomenal. Wow, these masks definitely have fragrance to them. They smell like perfume. If you um, have a sensitivity to fragrance in your products, maybe steer clear, but I really like using this. I love using the red one too. I use this when I'm on a multi-mask. And so this one's great for the T-zone, chin, nose. It really dries everything out, but it doesn't leave you feeling super sucked dry if that makes sense and this one is the red algae one red clay something and this one i use kind of around this area more where i have scarring where i have more bumpy texture little tiny pimples i don't know that it helps so much with the pimples but it just kind of it has little bits in it and i feel like it really helps to kind of 
slough off like gunk but i really like that a lot i feel like this is almost a dupe for the glam globe the black mask and my last mask to talk about i think it's my last product is the origins original skin retexturizing mask with rose clay i love this i got a little sample and i fell in love it's amazing it smells like roses and this one is amazing for big pores i wouldn't say it's great if you have like severe acne but if you have a lot of blackheads your pores right here feel really big it helps to just like blur everything like if you have an event or something and you have to wear makeup and you just like don't want your makeup to have to cover everything and you just want it to look smooth all day use this that morning so it helps to really exfoliate when you're rinsing it off i don't know just every time i use this it makes my skin look really really good and it just makes your pores look smaller i don't know how it does it's like putting on a primer but you're not wearing anything on your face so really recommend all those masks talked about all the a lot of this stuff in previous videos i just wanted to give you guys a little recommendation for all these products i absolutely love them if you have any specific questions about any of these products please leave a comment below i'd be more than happy to answer i really hope that you enjoyed this and please give this video a thumbs up if you did and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me bye